I, I honestly, I, I was like, I should look more awake. And so I did that and I went, oh, that's that that's scary looking. Let's not do that. You're like, hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Mm. Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really, okay, hi. I'm very tired today. Please forgive me. Okay, it's um, tired. It's, mm. it's also a topic that I will enjoy probably a lot more than uh, yeah, you I'm, do. Mm, I, yeah, it, it's not that I don't enjoy the topic we'll get into it properly it's it lily's leading the conversation today let's put it that way <laughs> yes i will try my best but you still have to introduce the podcast. i do i'll do that first hi everyone welcome to all the films we judged before i'm katie <laughs> <laughs> oh no and that is lily k at me it's lily <laughs> we should just uh, put out some new art which you should go and look at oh Soon it will be available on Redbubble. Just saying. Um, uh, I mean, yeah. Don't don't be don't be shy about that. This is you <laughs> your like, This is our <laughs> plug your other work. Okay. Please go ahead. Okay. I will. I will. But I will also say, please don't forget to subscribe and <laughs> <laughs> look. We have to do it, <laughs> Katie. It's our job now. <laughs> We're YouTubers. Uh, and uh, push that like button and leave a comment if you want to hear your thoughts on the topic, which we are not, we didn't get into just yet, but you know what I mean. It's in the title. You know what we're talking about. <laughs> sure. Maybe I won't put it in the title. What about well, that? Well, that's not how this works, Lily. You just said that we're YouTubers. You can't. <laughs> I will give like a very dramatic title like oh my god Katie was eaten by zombies no no because that also reveals what we're talking about oh, fuck that's right I'm not good at this we need a we need to, <laughs> we need to hire a, what is it a social media person someone and we're doing that with what one <laughs> shh <laughs> but uh, anyway before we get into it, no, my Evian bottle. <laughs> uh, I, I, I will have to ask, what did you watch last week? Mm. You know, I was just thinking about this because I was walking the dogs and I was like, ah, shit, we're gonna have to talk about that. And I, I realized I couldn't really remember what I was watching most of the week, but I did watch something today. I oh. can talk about that a little bit. Okay. I have been trying to put off watching this for ages because um, I have all of Psych to watch and I haven't watched any more of that um, recently. Uh, and I'm like, I should finish that before I buy any other box set. But been in the back of my head for a while. I watched the first episode of Black Sails. Okay. Uh, because if, just for whatever reason, it's been people post about it a lot on, on my Tumblr, and so I keep seeing gift sets. And every time I'm like, oh, that was pretty fun. I like pirates. That's that. I could I could get on with that. My parents watched it and they seemed to like it. Hmm. Um, but I put off because I was like, I wanted to kind of buy it because it wasn't on anything. Um, completely forgetting about, you know, less than legal streaming sites exist. <laughs> I'm, I'm not promoting that. Don't I be know, ridiculous. Do, it, definitely don't do that. <clears throat> anyway, yes, um, that's cool. <laughs> so I watched the first episode this morning because mm -hmm. I was, I, I, I didn't sleep particularly well last night Aww. and I was in bed and was like, I don't need to get up yet. I don't have anything to do today. Well, apart from this, um, and walking yes. the dogs yes. um but those of those things happen in the afternoon so i was like i shall lie here in bed and i shall watch this um i shall watch the first episode i really liked it um i will probably go back to it i, I don't know if i'll do it today but i'll get back to it at some point i like everybody in it's very good i for, I, I don't think I, I either forgot or didn't know at all that tom hopper was in it oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um but that was a fun little surprise i went oh shit <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. But yeah, I, th I think I think I'm gonna. I think I'll probably enjoy it quite a bit. But um, we'll see how far into it that I get anytime soon. If it do if I don't watch it all now, I'll probably watch it at some point in the future because I did like it. Good. But beyond that, I don't think I really watched anything else. I think the the other thing I watched was like this. There's a show on Dave now called um, Mel Gedroich's Unforgivable. Where she gets, gets a bunch of comedians to talk about bad things that they've done that they've done in their lives. <laughs> it's very entertaining. Fun. I've kept finding some compilations of it on YouTube, and I was like, "This is fun." Um, <laughs> that one's on UK TV Play if you're in the UK. Nice. I'm on that one. 
Nice. Beyond that, I haven't really watched anything else. I was telling you earlier that I wanted to go see Nightmare Alley, but I haven't had the I haven't found the right time to do that yet. You will tomorrow. I will, maybe. I I would think I'm probably trying to do it tomorrow. Oh, no. Hang on a second. All the timings are weird because they're all mid-afternoon. Okay. Mid-afternoon is actually when I have to do things. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Then Evening? Yeah, but that means it's like it's not on my local cinema, so I will have to like travel uh, to go and do it. Like I'll probably go down um, into Brighton to do it. Mm. Um, and, but so that, that, that's correct. Uh, it's, it requires like a, a a day out sort of mentality. <laughs> you guys, I'm sure you're gonna find the time for but, it. But I do, I do want to see it. Oh, I haven't seen. I, haven't I want to see it since, as well. Um... But I can't. <laughs> it's not on here, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I haven't been to the cinema since No Way Home. So That's mostly because my local cinema has only is still just showing No Way Home and a bit of West Side Story, which I've lost interest in, kind of. I'm, I'm apparently it's very good. I just um don't like Ansel Elgort. Mm. Reasons that you can Google internet. <laughs> um, yeah. So the, the, it's like they're the only things I've been on, and I've just been a bit like, eh. They're showing Belfast now, which I am kind of interested in, but it's a good one. It's a good one. I don't know if it's as good as they say it is. It seems to be like generally positive is the impression they're getting yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like it's doing well in like the oscar buzz award season um uh, space um but like the general consensus is like yeah it's nice is the kind of it, way it i've been nice. hearing it is nice i will say that it is nice i'm not sure it's a masterpiece like some people claim it to be so but you know whatever uh yeah good. what did you watch this week then we were in the same situation like last time. You didn't watch anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm going to be honest. It's it's been last week. Just gone. honestly, I think it did. Like I, I I remember half of last week. Yeah, but I did spend a lot of last week very sort of sleep deprived. Oh, fair. I, <laughs> I, I I do. I'm, I'm doing bullet journaling for this year. You know this. Yes. Uh, I'm it's... very I'm very happy about this for you. Thank you. Uh, it 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 helps. It does help. I'm not gonna lie. Like it it definitely uh, pied my stationary obsession back on, which is not good because I spent <laughs> a lot of money on shit that I'm not sure I would have bought if I wouldn't do this. Uh, but I I am writing up stuff so I can remember what did I do, which is you know I'm getting old, so don't judge me. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> uh, Beginning of a third. He's not old. I'm looking at it. I'm, I don't know. Oh, I, I obviously, I watch Book of Boba Fett every one day. I haven't seen any of it yet. <gasps> I'm not surprised. I, don't know, I haven't I'm watched The Mandalorian in, in time either, so I'm not surprised. I don't know, like, I, when the first episode came out, because the, they only let people, they let the sort of reviewers only review the first episode, and I yes. saw the general consensus being then like, a bit like, eh, it's all right. It's a Boba Fett show. And then I saw some yes. audience for things where it was like, it's pretty good. But it, no, 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 like I said, we, we've talked about this before. That was isn't really my, my thing. It's not. It's not. Oh, I don't. I, look, it's, it's such a it? good thing I, I have this. <laughs> uh, I watch Parasite again because it's a oh, fucking masterpiece. That so. is a masterpiece of a movie. <laughs> that one is a masterpiece. That movie rules. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I watched that again and once again fell in love with it and broke my heart and, and all that feelings that come up <laughs> yeah you yeah yeah it's a, that is a, that, there's it's, a couple of bits in there in the end that are really it, creepy <laughs> yeah it's um, it's heavy it's heavy uh, mm. but I still love it and um, don't judge I d it's <laughs> it's a guilty pleasure for me uh too hot to handle the reality tv show came back on netflix <laughs> okay. and... i'm pushing away the judgment <laughs> please push it away i'm not gonna lie the first time it, the first season it came out during the pandemic like when we were on the lockdown lockdown in london mm -hmm. uh and i literally was like i don't know what to watch these seem dumb enough so i will watch this and that's how i watched the first season Here's the thing, reality TV is <laughs> built to be consumable and like easy yes. and like 
and just sort of like it is trash television and it's meant to be trash it is so i i don't i don't what's the word I don't hold it against anybody. There was a word I was looking for, but that's basically what I was going for. Go. I don't hold it against anybody <laughs> for, for being like, being like, yeah, I watch a bit of like reality television. It's honestly, it's the part, it's the people who are like, it's the only thing that they watch. I'm like, please, please do something else. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not like There's that. so much good television. Please don't make this the only pool of content that you yeah i honestly can't wait uh until netflix drops uh here obviously i think it's already on the uh, uk netflix uh uh rupaul's drag race the next season i'm very i, I don't even think of that i think that's more like an entertainment show as opposed to reality think, television um, yeah because reality television i think of <laughs> <laughs> reality television i think of as being things like geordie shaw or love island or, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. or you know the really trashy stuff. They're really trashy. The only thing I will, well, it's once again this one as well is a bit like uh, all together, and I I wasn't really paying too much attention on this season because I was drawing and it was literally just in What's the background. The concept. <laughs> so the concept is that they I grab they they grab a, a bunch of people like very beautiful people, young people Talking. who are uh, only interested in sex with others, and that's it. So. They they don't want to build any meaningful relationships. They just want to have fun and parties and sex and whatnot. I just and, can't. I can't do it. Well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, uh, basically, on the island, they can't do any of that. No. Like, like it's it's forbidden. And if if they break the rule, then they get uh, um, uh, money taken uh, from the from the chest. Basically, uh, I think they have like a um, hundred. Uh, oh, I don't even remember how many, how much money they have. Never mind. They have a lot of money at the beginning and they usually fuck it up uh, because they just can't control themselves. But what I like about it is that they are actually trying uh, to teach them to appreciate more meaningful relationships and learn how to deal with them. And in this season, there was a guy, I think his name was Harry. Um, and he admitted that, you know, sure, there are people who are just like this lifestyle but then there are the people like him who got hurt and decided that he's, he's, he's gonna roll with this because he doesn't want to get hurt again and i was like yeah that's you know it's 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 uh, it's not a big lesson but it's still a lesson to never judge people just you know because of how they act because there's always something more behind it or usually so you know you can go it doesn't nobody nobody can. nobody cares just, just yeah it's like yeah, yeah. it's just that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. but uh i i like that they are trying to teach them like you know how how to be able to open up more and be able to build like meaningful relationships with others and you know not it's it's not all about the sex part and whatnot and i was like yeah i can you know i can appreciate that i think it's a good thing at the end oh. of me yeah so um, yeah it yeah. sounds like easily digestible television. it is it is honestly it was it was all on my tv in the background sometimes i looked up and and you know it's obviously drama and whatnot uh but yeah yeah they have, they have a good bits in there which which i appreciate it but i was like yeah it's a good background noise and that's it <laughs> <laughs> that's literally it <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I have a, I have another episode of Euphoria to watch today, and I just haven't, I, I just haven't watched it yet. It's like I woke up this morning, I was like, oh yeah, it's Euphoria. I mean, anyway, you're, um... <laughs> I mean, you're tired, and it's it's a as we talked about it's it, a it's lot, a bit, it's yeah. it's a lot, it's a lot. So I can understand why you decided not to watch it just yet. Uh, also, uh, uh, um, before we get into, it's not just that. No, it's just this, <laughs> but. I'm, I'm pointing at the, at, the, at the title and whatnot. Um, um, I will say that uh, I had to smile a little bit that we just talked about what we are rating for, and then the news came in that the Mission Impossible movies are pushed <laughs> I'm back. And I was like, like, I'm so upset Katie. about this. I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> I know. I was actually looking forward to this. I know. Multiple people agreed with me as well. I had a lot of likes on that tweet. You, 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 I, I even tagged you on Facebook. I don't. Think you, you did, saw that. but yeah, I, I don't look at Facebook really particularly oh, often. Fair. I check fair. on it like every like once in a while. I'm like, I haven't checked on Facebook in about one of those. <laughs> yeah, I saw it there first, so I was like, oh, whoops, Katie. I, I <laughs> literally just went disappointed. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah, and it is. I am disappointed, but I guess fuck it. There were other things I realized that I that, that we should have talked about and then didn't. And right now, I don't remember any of them. <laughs> because you're tired. Mm. Mm. Fair, fair. Oh well, it is what it is. Next year it is. They if if they push Jurassic World back, I'm gonna kill them. Just you know, as an <laughs> FYI. <laughs> I don't actually know who does. It's Paramount, right? That does some um, Mission Impossible. I think so, yeah. I think it's Paramount. It, who does, it um, should be. Who does Mission Impossible? No, sorry, not Mission Impossible. Uh, Jurassic World. Universal. Okay. Don't don't. This this not like both do this because then we'll just not talk for several minutes. And not bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully. Uh, please don't win. Thank you. Please don't push it again. Um, <laughs> but anyway, let's get so th- today's topic. Can we get into it or? or... Yeah, sorry, okay. I was just looking to see if I can. Find... Yeah, it's Paramount. That's right. It's, Thank uh, you. Okay. There you go. Internet. Uh, happy days. <laughs> uh, so today's topic is all about zombies because tomorrow you're watching this on Thursday. Tomorrow Netflix releases the new Korean zombie uh, horror TV show. Uh, all of us are dead. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what's funny? I watched a video right at the beginning of the year that was yes. uh, from still watching Netflix, the, that YouTube account, and it was like, here's a bunch of stuff that's coming out this year. Yeah. And one of them was this show, and I, I had every intention when I saw it to be like, hey, I should poke Lily about this because it's Korean, <laughs> it's the zombies. It seems right up her alley. And then you tweeted about it later, and I was like, oh, shit, I forgot about that. I'm glad she found it anyway. <laughs> But you know, I I I found in uh, I don't even know when they dropped it. Like they dropped like a a thirty second long uh, teaser or something like that, and that's it. Yeah, this they 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 kind of teased it in this video before they did that like individual Ooh. teaser. Okay. Um, which is what, but it, it was like pretty much the same. It, there wasn't really the o- the only content in the video was like this thing is coming out at this point, some point in twenty twenty two, and yeah. here's a little description of the show and like maybe like a couple of pictures or something like that. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay, neat. Yeah. There was some other stuff in there as well. I don't remember any of them now. I mean, other than like the big ones, um, like Strange Things Four, and which is yes. actually there's one. That's <laughs> one. Yeah, we we left that out. But yeah, that's true. Uh, That'll be fun. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't wait. Uh, but I can't wait for this one because it's coming out this week tomorrow. It's not tomorrow here when we, we record this, but you know what I mean. Um, and uh, that's why I told that uh, this week we're going to talk about the zombie genre. Uh, and I actually, I took a photo of this. I now have a notebook where I will put down all my notes for every episode. And I, I wrote up a little history lesson. on. Oh, I did a little history stuff uh, <gasps> just because um, I got... A, it, it, so proud uh, of you. Yes. No, not today. Oh, I need oh. to clarify it. This was during my degree. I oh. when I, during the first year of my degree, I did like a whole thing on zombies. So, Ooh, um, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um. So because I was this, as we all know, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, on the dead. Yes. I can't tell from it's this. Shaun of the Dead. I'm yes. kind of half covering Nick, which is yeah. not really where I need to be. But they, I'm sorry, Nick. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I did like a whole essay about um. The sort of development of the zombie genre and how it kind of went from um the sort of there was there's the sort of voodoo haitian um uh, uh roots and then there was like um george romero taking it and kind of making it into the sort of undead um thing and making it kind of like this metaphor for uh uh consumerism mm-hmm. specifically i think in night of the living dead is where that kind of comes in yes um and uh, i also did this because i read simon Pegg's book where he talks about because you know, he loves zombies, which is part of the reason why they made this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as, as as Edgar Wright's first feature film, um, he talks about uh, you know why he thinks that walking zombies are better than running zombies, which is an opinion I stole and then eternalized. <laughs> we we have to get into that part. As well. no, we'll get into that, <laughs> but please go and t- tell me tell me what you found. Well, you basically just told everything. Yeah, about, but like. So... <laughs> You probably have more information. <laughs> um, so yeah, that uh, the the popular belief is that it was George Romero who created uh, the zombie genre with Night of the Living Dead, but that is kind of false. Like, yes, in a way, it's true, but no, it's not really true because you know they never even use the term zombie in the movie. They call them ghouls. Uh, and uh, and and you know, uh, there's there's one interesting thing that I found, and I I didn't know this, so I was very surprised by it. Uh, 
uh, Romero himself said that uh, he avoided the word completely, like zombie. Uh, and he said that Richard Matheson's novel, I Am Legend, Le- 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 I can't talk, Legend, Legend thank you, uh, was the main inspiration behind. Uh, I think I did know that, yeah. I, I didn't know this. And uh, it's one of my favorite Will Smith movies now, uh, since they made it in 2004. I believe something like that. Yeah, something, it was early two thousand. Like but yeah, I was. I right. remember that I was very young and I I watched it a lot. Two thousand seven. <laughs> seven. Yeah, that's actually way later than I thought. Oh, it was. that tracks. That tracks because I was still. Oh yeah, I was still in high school. When it does it came track, out. but it's sort of sort of like oh shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember watching it a lot. I love that movie so much. I, I really I can... quietly see if I can find this essay because I don't delete anything. There um, you go. Go, but, go uh, ahead. Uh, but the first zombie movie was Victor Harper's 1932 opus The White Zombie, uh, which uh, uh, was starring Bela Lugosi, who's actually Hungarian, by the way. Mm, okay. didn't know that. That's why I said his name like then. Um, Lugosi Bela, uh, in the Hungarian way. Um, and uh, this was the film that defined the word zombie. Uh, what what zombie meant and there were four rules uh, uh, when it all started number one was it was set in an exotic tropical climate Uh, number two was voodoo conscious mostly black population uh, there Mm -hmm. Uh, number three was evil sorcerer who's skilled in voodoo and uh, number four was using drugs to kill the enemies and and enslave their undead bodies and that was the basis for what we what they called back then the zombie genre, which wasn't really a genre because it didn't really get picked up as something that they made more of. Uh, but uh, it for a long time, it was definitely, you know, in in people's mind. And there were actually a few movies that used the same rules. Let's call them rules. Uh, and then Romero came along and uh, and he completely changed it even without using the name of, of zombie <laughs> or naming them zombies. I, I, found, I found the thing. Uh, it was a go. genre analysis piece I had to do, and I was comparing Shaun of the Dead to 28 Days Later. Nice. Um, uh, and I have actually got a quote in here from Romero where he said he bred the zombie with the vampire, and what he got was a hybrid of vigor and ghoulish plague monster. Yes. <laughs> There you go. I found that one as well. <laughs> and then uh, zombies before this were traditionally dead, brought back to life by Haitian necromancy or by a bokor. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, and I would mm-hmm. like to apologize. <laughs> I am not, <laughs> but it's a close. It, 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 that's look what it looks like. Um, a witch or a sorcerer. I spelt sorcerer wrong in this essay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read. It's okay. I can't either. I just proved it a minute ago, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's yeah. Actually, I have it in here. It said instead they were referred to as ghouls. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I yes, did. Yes. I did my research. You did your research. I I did it as well. I was like, I did that today. I was, uh, I I really like the zombie. I don't remember this essay. I I, I did pretty well on this essay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I I like two things that they they wrote about this. And one of them is zombie now. Uh, zombie is now a safely universal experience, devoid of cultural specific specificity. specificity. <laughs> Thank you. That I can I can walk. It's a difficult <laughs> one. That one I'm not gonna lie. It it is it is. I was I was writing it down and I was like, maybe Katie knows this. <laughs> I just <don't>. yeah. <laughs> and then um, what else? Uh, uh, detaching them from their cultural roots gave them an entirely new cultural purpose, uh, and 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 I think it definitely opened the doors. That is interesting to think about. I just because we've talked about Kingdom before because you got me to watch it. Yes. Um, and we had a whole little discussion about it, which you can find somewhere. I'm sure Lily will put it in the description. Yes. Um, where um that the sort of basis around the zombies in that is way more sort of in that Haitian sort of um origins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I I just hadn't thought about it before. That's so that's kind of interesting because I hadn't um put that together until now because it's like brought back through this plant instead and it's like a it's like a it's like a whole ritual thing obviously there's more to it than that uh, yeah which they get to into into the show which is very interesting but i digress i just thought that was interesting also i just found another bit in this essay it's like my second paragraph where i've written zombie in quotes and then put in brackets zombie here noted in quotation marks because i'm talking about 28 days later mm. 
zombie here, quote, noted in quotation marks, as to whether or not the infected in Boyle's film are considered zombies is dependent on your definition of zombies. That's me saying that I don't consider them zombies. They are not zombies. They are infected. <laughs> they are infected. And they are infected right. with the, with the uh, what was the name? Uh, anger, anger virus or uh, anger? And uh, it's, uh, it's rage. Rage, rage, it? rage, rage, rage. That's the one. Yeah, that's the rage, one. rage. I even I even wrote, wrote it up here uh, at the end. Twenty days later, not zombies. Infected. <laughs> I had to. I had to. Uh, Traditional zombie is defined as a corpse said to be revived by witchcraft. I should have read this before we started. This would have been a great. Yes, yeah, it's. Uh, I, you're reading it now, so we're still good. Uh, but yeah. Um, so we are talking about zombies uh, today. Apparently, we did a little history check on them, uh, and now I will ask. Uh, obviously, other than Shaun of the Dead, which you can also talk about, what other. Uh, zombie uh, movies or tv shows do you do you like or did you like it's difficult because like i started watching the walking dead because of, of like my interest in in shaun of the dead yes um uh and as i think i've mentioned before i stopped watching at the end of season six mm -hmm. um because I went on Twitter the morning that after season seven premiered saw who died and went okay and <laughs> <watched> <laughs> <laughs> um but it, it was like i was thinking about this earlier as well i've moved away from it a lot because despite the fact that i used to i used to really love it like mm. back in like 2013 i think was kind of the beginning of that sort of thing for me because i got really into this movie around that time mm -hmm. with these all these movies um and i went through <laughs> i went through a bit of a simon peg sort of obsession period uh, during sixth form um, I'm laughing because somebody gave me a birthday card um, with like, a bunch of pictures of Simon Pegg in it that year. It I, love that. I love that. <laughs> it was a really good birthday card. It's a good one. Um, but I, re I'm realized, I realize, every time I think about it, I didn't watch a whole lot of, I didn't watch a whole lot of stuff. Warm Bodies is a good one, which I don't think people often think about, um, but it is, that's a genuinely great film and mm. it's really sweet and does a really, I think, interesting thing with the zombie idea i yeah, guess yeah, yeah. um in that it kind of reverses it mm -hmm. um not to spoil the end of the film there but like, it's i i think it's um uh, i haven't watched it in a really long time but i think I, I might do i i bought a bunch of stuff with the absolute intention of watching them um uh but i never did i bought um the girl with all the gifts i haven't watched it yet ages ago like literally yeah. i bought it like whilst i was still working because i used to work in w.a smith yes um, and I would get discounts, because not discount. Um, so I'd often go over to the little place with all the DVDs. Most of them were like <laughs> the half day, just like really old DVDs. They just didn't have a good selection. In Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't buy DVDs from Smith. <laughs> not a good idea. Um, but they had got with all the gifts, and I was like, so I bought it for like a little bit cheaper because I got my discount on it. And then it's been on my windowsill <laughs> for about, oh, I'm trying to think of the number now, five years? I haven't watched it. I have it as well, and I haven't watched it yet. And I read the book, and I love the book. I've heard the movie's really good, which is why I yeah. bought it. Yeah. Um, but I think around that time it was it was kind of as I was petering off because it like I think around because that was post. I think around like when Trump got inaugurated, you know, twenty sixteen was a bad year. I think we all know this. Yes. Um, uh, and I think around that time I stopped being interested in this very sort of like post apocalyptic. Um, I get dreary makes it sound like they're all sort of like the I mean, a lot of them are but like in, you, in ways that are meant to be very interesting um, but I just it was like I'm not this is too sad for me I don't want to <laughs> I think I also realised that you know when you're kind of young and you don't quite understand the gravity i think of the situations that they're put in you're like i could totally survive the zombie apocalypse <laughs> that's that kind of do you know there's the... okay. i went through i went through yeah. a bit of a phase where i just sort of was like i'm i would i would thrive <laughs> okay. i wouldn't it would be bad and then everybody <laughs> would die and it would be really sad <laughs> and i think it was around that time that i kind of that sort of side of things when i was like oh actually Nobody wants this. It's a bad idea. It's not great. It's, it's not great. It's 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 really depressing. 
<laughs> and I think I just sort of went, I'm just going to move away from that now. So I stopped watching things like The Walking Dead and I think I got through maybe one season of um, Fear the Walking Dead. Oh, I love um, The Walking Dead. Which I liked a lot. I did. Um, but I, um, yeah, I just was sort of like, I'm not in the mood for this anymore. Um, until kind of you sort of lassoed me back into this sort of thing with um, <laughs> sort of going, you need to watch this and actually buying me Train to Brazil. <laughs> Which um yeah it, that one was it oh, I spoke I think I spoke about it when when I when I actually when we did our sort of mini review yes. or like chat about it where I was like um it took me a while to get into it because it starts off in that place of like everything's going to shit and I just sort of like went oh I don't know if I'm in the mood <laughs> <laughs> so no just keep going and it's like yeah you get once you finally kind of transition from that sort of like safe space of being you know in the world to into this world and it's like everything falls apart and everybody's dying very quickly it's sort of like okay we're in this now i can live in this sort of space. <laughs> <laughs> i need like a period of transition so i can be like ah, eh, we're good yeah <laughs> i mean that's yeah. fair i don't know but, but most of my, my zombie love is tied to this movie let's be real i think it does it one of the best ways i mean in general yeah, it is. It's it's true. It's sure not that that is priceless, honestly. Uh, but yeah. Uh, well, for me, I, I, mm. wrote, I wrote I wrote the list. There's, there's a long list of things. Oh great! Uh, but, that sounded uh, sarcastic. I meant it sincerely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I uh, will say a few that are uh, a bit under the radar. I think, and, and okay. I, I think a lot of people should really watch it because they are mostly very fun one of them is cooties cooties if it's with two o's cooties cooties there you go with elijah wood it's a 2014 movie and it's it's basically a bunch of school kids uh becoming zombies and the teachers are the survivors and it's <laughs> fucking hilarious <laughs> it's very good elijah's just the best in there and um, uh, there's a similar one that came out in 2019 called Little Monsters with Lip Lupita Nyong'o uh, which is also oh I seem to remember that doing very well it's it's really good <laughs> it's really fun I do, I do I think I, I think I remember that doing very I, I, I remember that I think I remember that coming out and it doing pretty pretty well. I don't think I knew it was a zombie thing though. It is, it is, and it's it's good. It's a it's a good one, and it's it's once again more <laughs> it's on good, the Lily. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's more on the um, comedy side uh, rather than the the horror aspect of of things, which is you know it's it's. I will say this that zom the zombie genre can be very serious and you know very uh, critical of today's society because that was the original thing in it basically that was romero's intention it, it was romero's intention and then it can be very very fun and it's you know you can use zombies to make fun of them and make fun of dummies <laughs> you know it's it's a good one if if you do it right it's it's great uh i will say huan of the dead uh which is cuba's first uh, uh feature length zombie film um and i actually watched it on youtube I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when for a month I had YouTube Premium and it, it was on uh, for free, uh, it was very good, surprisingly good. Uh, but uh, they kind of dragged it a little bit at the end, so it felt a bit like eh, maybe you should have stopped like at this point, and then it would be a great movie, uh, still worth to watch. Um, and and the special effects ex especially are, are great. Uh, and then the one that I wrote up and I, I feel like not enough people are talking about it uh, is, where is it? A Slitter, which is James Gunn's, uh, one of James Gunn's first movies. Slitter. Uh, Slitter, yeah. Okay. Uh, That's, it, is that a zombie movie? I thought it was like a. I thought it was more like an alien thing. It's an alien zombie movie. At secondary school, we did a whole like movie night where we put Slither on. It was like, the, the, the guys wanted to watch it, I think. It was like, oh, we should put this on. Because we were doing like a horror night, I think. Yeah. Um, uh, and we got, I think, like maybe, like maybe halfway through, if that. And we were, <laughs> most of us just sort of went, don't want to watch this. It's really gross. 
<laughs> I'm not having a good time when we turned it off. Uh, I I am uh, trying to find. Uh, I I did have a lot of like uh, communication with with James Gone. Mm. Uh, and uh, wait. I will say that I think part of the reason for it, and I, I'm going off a hazy memory here, is that I don't do well with like slime or like oh, goo. Yeah, same. Can't stand it. Yeah. Honestly, makes me feel physically ill in things. Like I never understood the sort of obsession with like slime in children's television. Always hated the concept of it. Every time it was like, and it was like, oh, gunge is what they referred to it uh, on, on like kids TV in the UK. It's <laughs> just every time they just pour like this green stuff all over people. I just, <laughs> 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 right. it's the reason I hate slugs. I just it, genuinely, I, nah, no, no, thank you. I can't do slimy things. It's like the worst texture in the world. So, and that movie is all slime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I have a thing with, with parasites, like, you know, taking over, like, I love Alien and I, I am terrified of it. Uh, but uh, Slither was the same, uh, <laughs> Basically, I can't find where he responded to my comment, but basically uh, he put up uh, something about the movie. I think it was like a celebration or something, maybe the 10 year or mm. something like that. And I commented like, you know, this movie <laughs> was disturbing and disgusting. <laughs> I still love it, but it scared the shit out of me because I have like this horrible fear of parasites taking over my body. I, I, I have not the same thing, but I think something adjacent wherein I have a real um, dislike and like um, aversion to like hypnosis or mind control and stuff. Oh yeah. I find it, I think it's one of also, it's like both, I, I find it really like unnerving and like it, that's sort of like, I just want to be like, ah, God, my skin feels weird. Don't think I do that. <laughs> um, but also it's probably one of my favorite tropes in media. Yeah. <laughs> Where it's just sort of like, this is really good, but also, uh. <laughs> <laughs> which which reminds me to say that last time I forgot to say that one of our uh, what what did what did we watch? Uh, I can't talk today. Uh, I watched Hypnotic, which is a Kate Siegel film on Netflix. Wasn't it? I I saw the plot of that, and I was literally like, "This is my nightmare." <laughs> yes. Uh, that's why uh, now that you talked about it, that's how I remembered. I, I actually watched that, and that's your nightmare. It's. Terrifying. Yeah, I, I watched the the trailer and I was like, yeah, no. It it, it, was... it was a big part of the reason I didn't watch Gout for a really long time because I was like, mm, no, again, I found it so creepy. <laughs> um, I'm fully aware that actual hypnosis is all about like you're you have to be willing to do things is why you can't be hypno hypnotized yeah, into yeah, doing yeah, something yeah. like hurting yourself or anything yeah. like that. However, mm. <laughs> yes. I agree. I agree. It's very disturbing. Uh, and I was like, uh, like it's so bad. Even when people like jokingly like, ro like I don't know, take a watch and like it, it swing it in front of my face, I'm like, literally get that away from me right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm I going can hit you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can understand. I, I, I can understand why. Uh, but it's, it's a very good movie, by the way. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but it's very creepy as well. Uh, but yeah, I wrote that to James, and 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 he basically said that I take that as a compliment, and I was like, I meant it as a compliment, <laughs> but it, it, it still scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and I watched it as a kid, so you know. Maybe it wasn't my greatest idea, especially yeah. knowing that I am I think, afraid of this kind of stuff. So. I think there are some movies that um, you can't appreciate properly until you actually do get old enough to be like, yeah. like you're a proper person. Because there are movies I definitely watched in my teenage years when I was starting to get into like film stuff that I know for a fact I don't think I I uh, appreciated it enough. Like I watched, like I said, oh, we've talked about this before. I watched the Lord of the Rings movies quite late on. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I do, they weren't really a thing in our house as, when I was a kid. We had them all, but I just, they were not, my parents went into them and therefore it was like, we, this was a Harry Potter household. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, <laughs> um, uh, so I watched them, I want to say, uh, probably about nine years ago. So I was about 15. Um, but I don't think I gave them the, the time of day properly, um, which is part of the, there's money, one of the, I do have the intention to go back and watch them properly now. I think I would actually. <laughs> way more like engaged I think so too yeah um but oh that was the other one sorry I just suddenly wrote we didn't talk about the Lord of the Rings series that's gonna be out oh yeah year. it's coming out in September yeah yeah that that would, that would have been a good one to talk about yeah um 
we, we That's will. not important. It's, we, we, we not this episode. It. it's not that episode It's anymore. not. It's not. <laughs> Let's... We will. <laughs> uh, <tangents> all the time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there. I mean, there were so many movies. Like, I... <laughs> Just one more quick tangent. I saw Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy in the cinema. Same. When I was about 15. I think that was when it was coming out. I was like 14, 15. Because I had a real obsession with Ben Become Batch at the time because I was very into Sherlock. Yep, um, and I was like, I dragged my friends to the cinema. I was like, we're watching this movie. None of them paid attention to it properly. And they were like, this movie doesn't make any sense. I was like, I understood it perfectly. I watched it again a year or two ago, probably about two years ago, something like that. And I was like, I definitely did not understand this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't understand it now. Yeah, it's 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 a heavy one. It's, it's a great movie. It is I'm a great like, one. I, there is no way in hell that I understood this movie when I was 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same. Uh, but back to back to uh, back to zombies. zombies. Back to I'll zombies. I'll stop talking about other movies. That's fine. Uh, it's a movie podcast, so it's we're still good. Uh, um, there are some very good ones out there. I will say that uh, Cabin in the Woods is mm. not it's especially a zombie genre uh, horror film, but mm. it's it still has zombies in it. So. God, it, 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 it they're in, they're in there. It's, it's, a, they it's in a fun there. movie. It's, it's a fun, I love Cabin in, the, Cabin in the Woods, so, you know, it's, I, I'm going to say that one as well. But, but, very important. If I have to choose one that is literally perfect. <laughs> and there it is. It's this one. It's it, without question. I hate the idea, and, and now unfortunately the fact that uh, Americans are remaking it. Just, just watch the original. Just, just watch, watch your, the original. Please, please, just expand your cultural horizons and watch a movie that's not in English. Just watch this. You watch Squid Game. You can watch this as well. This is Korean as well. So please watch mm. it. <laughs> I beg you, don't watch the American remake. Watch this. It's cold. It's cold. Uh, but it's a very good movie. It, it, it's brilliant. I saw it so many times. I I'm afraid to admit it. <laughs> but it's so no, you you mentioned it before. <laughs> <I did. laughs> it's constantly on my watch list. I love it. I can go back to it whenever. Uh, but uh, I will also say I mentioned this before as well uh, that uh, I don't really appreciate Zack Snyder most of the time, unless he does something with zombies, which mm. he did with Dawn of the Dead. Uh, that is actually one of my favorites as well. Uh, hmm? for the for the for the people at home, it's the remake of, of it's the, the it's the remake. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is it is the remake, uh, which Romero didn't like. And oh, I actually there's another history one. Uh, so Romero didn't like the fact, and this is where the walking versus running thing comes in. Uh, that Snyder made uh made them sprinting basically because they were sprinting in sins uh and it looks like that he forgot that his zombies in or ghouls in night of the living dead were actually running jogging uh, uh using tools and whatnot so you started in romero so i don't know what was your problem it's uh, an interesting <laughs> thing i've started the sentence with the hope that the thought i was going to have that i had was going to come back to me yeah and it hasn't okay. <laughs> just sort of slipped away from me again. Um, nope, it's gone. It's gone. It ne never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay. Uh, but uh, so fast or, or running zombies are actually, if if you look at uh, twenty days later, uh, back, back, I can back, back. I can't talk today, Katie. What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, sometimes it's hard. I also remembered my thought. It yes. was tangentially connected because I was also looking into um, when I did my dissertation for university. Yeah, I did uh, a whole thing about independent cinema and how it kind of like the the importance of independent cinema. Yeah, um, but particularly I was talking about American independent cinema. Yes, um, and I was talking about how independent films often create trends in Hollywood mainstream. Yes, and I used the Night of the Living Dead as uh, an example because that movie was made for I think altogether it was a bit it was it was very haphazard. Um, a lot of the people who did the makeup were zombies in the film. Mm -hmm. um, I think they ended up using it was about eleven thousand dollars, and it, it is something then, like that. Yeah, it would then became one of the highest grossing films. Like it was it was one of those ones that was like low one of the lowest 
um, yeah. budgets, budgets yeah. compared to the amount of money that it ended up making at the bo- uh, at the box office. I guess it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considering it came out in the sixties, I don't think the box office was really considered a, uh, a thing at that point. No, um, not really. Uh, yeah, so it it did. It was one of those, one of those. It was very much one of those movies that um, pushed, created an entire like. Oh, this is like it was like right at the beginning of sort of the seventies, and then monster sort of mm-hmm, really mm-hmm, flattery mm-hmm. and yeah. lots of gore and all that sort of stuff. Um, that was just an interesting thing I thought I'd put out there for people. There you go. There's a yeah, factoid. You're welcome. <laughs> factoid. Uh, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, but yeah. Um, yes. Running zombies. Running zombies. Uh, so, so, yeah. This sorry. That this is where the the opinion that I sort of ingested yes. from Peg and sort of like made it my own came from because he basically takes the same sort of thing from Romero in that he's like he he very much it talks about how he thinks that the zombie is uh in one of its basic forms this sort of like representation of death essentially because mm-hmm. it is they are living death yeah um and that the walking part of it is that this sort of sense of like consistent oncoming doom because they don't stop and it it like even though you can technically outrun them, the whole point is that if you like stop for long enough, and you're not paying attention for long enough. It still it still catches up to you. Yeah, yeah. That, you 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 see people all the time being like, you just run away from them, and they had a whole joke about that. Yeah. The dead, actually. Yeah, they did. Um, <laughs> if folks don't know about it, there's a great behind the scenes bit, or like they did these like little anim um uh, animated or like storyboard things in the uh. uh special features on the Shaun of the Dead thing that shows what happened to what's her name? Lucy um, um, the name character Di D- David yeah. and Diane yeah, yeah, yeah Diane, Diane. You know, shows yeah, what yeah, happens yeah. to Diane's character after she steals David's leg uh, and like fights her way through some zombies she basically <laughs> goes and hides up a tree <laughs> <laughs> um, but also there's one after uh, Sean goes to lead the zombies away he basically realises he has to stop every couple of pieces because they're not catching up with him long enough and then eventually he kind of um, ducks into an alley and hides in a bin until they um, they, they pass him by yeah. but one of them spots him but it's like they, 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 there's like a whole joke about it it's, but like they still come back because like if you're not paying attention enough they might they'll still see you and return again yeah that's like that's the whole point and I do agree in many senses that the running zombie kind of Yes, in ways it is more scary because it's way quicker. <laughs> yep. However, I think that the the sort of classic is more I valid. Mean... Is that's what I'll say. I won't. I won't say that the like, running zombies aren't zombies because that's uh, clearly not a true it, thing. It's not a true thing. Uh... Um, but I do. I do. I think I do prefer the sort of shambling effect to them. I do agree. Uh, with your thoughts and Simon's thoughts, obviously. Uh, <laughs> His thoughts, and then I took them and went, and, these and, are my and thoughts just, now. <laughs> yes. Uh, but uh, at the same time, I think shows like The Walking Dead showed why that can be a bit ridiculous. The, <laughs> the Walking Dead is that they did it for too long. <laughs> <laughs> Not just that, but yeah, obviously, yes, that one as well. But uh, at the beginning like you know when someone died it was like legit and it was like scary and, and yeah. whatnot and then that it, it it literally became if you would have done this and that you literally died because you're stupid like <laughs> it's I mean, easy I as don't think, I don't think that that's such a bad thing but if it's something that you end up relying on for narrative that, purposes that's when it gets stupid it, yes yeah yeah like yeah, you can that, be stupid and die and it's obviously. like oh well you should have just done that better yep <laughs> but like when it's annoying it's like all right and it was annoying at the end yeah. i was like mm, it's, this is just uh, <laughs> <don't> do that. <laughs> but uh i think i think i prefer the running zombies i'm not gonna lie i do like the walking ones but it once again i loved it in dawn of the dead like that i think that was my first in- introduction to zombies as well so that's why my in my head they Do you know are... what? Yes. On the other hand, yes. I think my introduction to running zombies was in the World War Z movie, and I think oh, that's yes. part of the reason why I'm like, no, because <laughs> that movie is like it's fine. 
It's fine. Um, it is fine. But it is. I remember just watching it a bit like, this feels a bit like, meh. <laughs> like, it feels like you've taken everything that's interesting about zombies and kind of ignored it for the sake of, like, spectacle. Um, I will say that... in that film. Yeah. It, it could have been a lot, 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 lot better, but it is still an enjoyable movie. If you it's look enjoyable. at it as an, as an action movie, not yeah. a horror movie. It's not a horror movie. <laughs> it has but, a bad haircut in it. <laughs> I like this haircut in there. It was a bit much. <laughs> uh, it's okay. But uh, yeah, I, I think that's why I prefer them running. I it, I think it's just more terrifying than anything else, Like to be honest. Uh, uh, that's why. You don't know this, but now you're going to find out. That's why first I didn't like Short of the Dead. Mm. Yeah. First I was like, ah. Oh, what, what is <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it only lasted for like 10 minutes and then I started getting to it and I was like, oh, okay, okay, got you. I got you. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's when my Edgar Wright obsession started, okay? Mm. Part of the reason I think this movie is so great is that it takes the zombie element of it so seriously. Yeah. Why I, I'm so adamant that it when it's like, it's not a fucking parody. <laughs> oh yeah, you hate serious. that. You hate that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had that argument as well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah there, there, there's a serious element of the film. Yes, there's jokes in it. It's it's a funny, it's a rom-com zone movie. It is. It is. What it was marketed as, and that yeah, I had I did I also talked about that in that essay where I actually broke down the elements of like um, uh, the romantic comedy mm. and talked about it in terms of Shaun of the Dead because uh, I think they I I found a book that was used to write help write Man Up, which is another yeah. Simon Pegg movie that I really like, and I used the sort of like it was like the seven steps of like the romantic comedy that was used to make Man Up, and I kind of applied it to Shaun of the Dead. Um, it was, it was a good essay. Uh, maybe I should just give you the link. And maybe yeah, you, can, you, you should just do that, to be honest, at this point. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think what I don't like uh, and where some of the zombie movies are trying to head, basically, is when they are making them smart. Though. Yeah. I, no. I was like, that, you, you're you losing the point of you're zombies. You're just trying to go, oh, well, what if we did this now? It's like, yeah. it's like, I I get I get annoyed when people are like zombies don't sound or mean anything like and that's why and that's why they don't like them as like a monster thing I'm like that's not true at all it's not true they, it's not true it's it's annoying to me that people do keep <laughs> perpetuating that idea but like if you want to make them interesting it's it's like taking out the concept of like vampires yes were created as this like symbol of sexual repression yeah, yeah, and yeah. like the actual want this sort of sexual desire and, and, and the reason why they have sharp teeth that yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and then there's things like um uh, i mean dracula was kind of like the the really obvious example when it comes to vampires but then you get things like twilight they're just like what if we just made them sexy <laughs> it's like, yeah. okay but like you've just sort of made them into Glittering bastards, <laughs> glittering idiots, <laughs> glittering idiots. You've taken out the whole like the more interesting the, stuff yeah. to do with like the actual story of Dracula. Yeah. Um. Uh. And I, it's I think it's the same thing when you take out any when you kind of go here's the archetype and we're just gonna like add stuff to it until it no longer resembles like this other thing. Um. Because like in in even in the in the Haitian um origins there is a mm. sense of like. I guess sort of lack of control or like yeah. trying to bring back something or I, I don't know specifically and uh, I'm not going to talk too much on it so that I don't <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I'm speaking right. out of turn um but it's like yeah it's if you start making them smart it's like you're just making just sort of like just taking away from what they just, stand for just, or mean or, or they, they're just sort of uh, things <laughs> yeah yeah, I don't know. I I don't like that aspect. I I did enjoy uh, because Army of the Dead, which is another Zack Snyder movie, and I said it previously. I will link it down. Uh, I that I did came enjoy down that. To find my parents watching um, what was the, Army what of was... Thieves. Yes, yeah, I and I was that. I was kind of like, oh, they're watching. Oh, okay, cool. They seem to enjoy it. Yeah. Um, oh, I love <laughs> Army of Thieves. I have not either of them. <laughs> I love I love my boy Dieter. He's the greatest. Uh, mm. Watch him in Army of the Dead, please. He's great. Uh, but uh, yeah, I I I I I didn't mind it in there 
too much because they made them like they made them it's smart. Have, like a reason behind it, yes. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, they made them smart-ish, and they had like their own culture, I guess, in a way. But I was like, okay, that's this movie's thing. So I was like, I don't know, I I don't know if I if I oh, if I'm on board with it, but I I don't think I am. I don't mind making them fast. Uh, I, I don't want them to be smarter than they are. Like you know, uh, that's when. Uh, Romero once again shot himself in the leg <laughs> when he did uh which one was in um Land of the Dead uh where they became smarter and used the, the rifle gun and what on uh it's... is that the the 2005 yeah, one yeah 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 cuz that one has I'm pegging egg right in it in like a small cameo they're like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> zombies like in some kind of I don't. I haven't seen the movie, but I have seen the behind the scenes yeah. stuff where they're in yeah, the. Yeah, they are in there. <laughs> they are um, in there. Uh, but yeah. Um, so yeah, don't make them smart, and then I am happy. Uh, and and before we, we close this episode down, uh, because we are very good with timing. <laughs> if we finish in the next couple of minutes, we'll be alright. Yeah, I, I, I know. Uh, yeah. I will say uh, that there is one TV show. Uh, we talked about Kingdom. We talked about The Walking Dead. Uh, there's also uh, Santa Clarity Diet, which is such a shame <laughs> that they stopped that. That was brilliant. I've uh, only seen a, a couple episodes of that because I had to do some transcription for it a little while ago, but I did enjoy them. Oh my God, I love that show so much. And I am so angry with Netflix that they cancelled it. it. It was so good, like both Drew Barrymore and Timothy Oliphant were like just fucking amazing uh, there's Black Summer which is a new thing on Netflix I highly recommend it it's a very good one uh, I am considering uh, now uh, watching iZombie uh, but only because Raul Coley is in it I started watching iZombie a while ago and didn't get very far into it yeah. um, it feels like it should be my kind of thing but I uh, he was admittedly I think my favorite part of it anyway. I mean, yeah, I, the only reason I would consider watching it is him. And when I found out that he's in it, I was like, ah, shit, I should really watch this now because I don't like the concept of it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but mm, it, I mean, I like this. It's all right. It's like it's it's interesting. Yeah, but I, I think it's one of those things. Like, I think it I think it did like a slow burn, got really good and then kind of dated off by the end. Yeah, I seem to remember people not being particularly big fans of the last couple of seasons. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, well, uh, we love Raul, so I, 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 I. Uh, But anyway, this was us. Uh, don't forget to tune in next week. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, watch All of Us Are Dead on Netflix. Uh, it comes out uh, this Friday on the on the 28th. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Netflix> felt like it. <laughs> But uh, we 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 might do a review on it if Katie watches it as well. I definitely will watch it. That's a hundred percent. So uh, we'll see. We'll, I figured you'd I'll say that. Anything. <laughs> you know, it's okay. We'll see. Uh, I will definitely watch it. So I will probably talk about it next week. Uh, because I need my yearly zombie show or movie or whatever. Uh, but anyway, uh, take care. Uh, listen to us on Anchor as well, and we love you. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>